I'm about to share a little secret that marketing agencies don't want you to know. So if you've ever felt pressure to hire an expensive agency to handle your marketing, or if you think do-it-yourself marketing, handling your marketing in-house is just too time consuming, then stick around because what I'm about to share with you is going to change the way that you look at marketing your small business forever. I'm not trying to gatekeep, so let's just start with the biggest secret that marketing agencies don't want you to know, and that is that you don't need to hire a marketing agency to succeed. That's right, you can promote and market your small business on your own. Now, marketing agencies will tell you that you're paying for their expertise and to utilize the right tools and strategies, and that's fine and well, but the truth is that nobody knows your business the way that you do. And with the right tools and the right information and the right strategies, you can also run effective marketing campaigns that will garner you really great results, increase sales, and grow your small business. Now, you may be one of those small business owners that says, actually, Vivian, I would love and prefer to outsource my marketing to an agency. I'm just not currently in a position where I can spend thousands of dollars a month doing that. So in the meantime, I have to keep my marketing in-house. Around here, we like to call that DIY marketing or do-it-yourself marketing. Well, then let's go ahead and talk about some of the common hangups that people have with do-it-yourself marketing. Starting with do-it-yourself marketing is too time consuming. Okay, I know it seems like you're going to save a lot of time by outsourcing your marketing to an agency, but here's the truth. Even if you hire marketing professionals to help promote your small business, it does not absolve you from having to be proactive and engaged in your marketing. That is the truth because think about it. Even if you outsource all of your social media to somebody, they are still likely going to be coming back asking you to record or asking you to take photos, asking you to approve the post before they put it out there because no good marketing agency worth their salt is going to be posting stuff that you don't know about, right? They need to get your stamp of approval before you do. So it just adds another layer to that whole process. And yes, it can eventually help you save time, especially if you stick with the same marketing agency and they know your business really well and you get along with them and they just understand your brand, but it takes time to get to that point. So it's not going to happen in the first month. In the first month, you are likely still going to have to be heavily involved in your marketing. So when it comes to do-it-yourself marketing, you can actually gain some time back by utilizing the right resources, setting up streamlined processes, and using tools, automation, and all of that to help you save time along the way. So really, at the end of the day, if you're not outsourcing your marketing and instead you're deciding to keep it in-house and you're managing it, there are ways for you to save time and to be way more efficient with social media posting or answering questions from your customers or even responding to DMs. Another myth is that you can't compete with bigger brands on a small budget. If this was the 1950s in the age of big ad agencies, maybe there would be some truth to that, but luckily we're not. We're in 2024 where customers actually prefer small brands. They want to shop local and they want to support small businesses and they want to relate to authentic brands. So actually being a big dog these days is probably a little more hurtful just because people want to spend their dollars in their local community. Additionally, with platforms like Instagram and TikTok making it easier than ever for people to buy directly from content creators or smaller brands, it really means that the bar is low as far as being able to sell to your audience. Unlike the 1950s, the focus really isn't on creating a well-polished ad, but instead the focus is on connection. So if you're a small business owner that's handling your marketing internally, then you can actually create deeper connections with people just 
by sharing your business, right? Your process on how you make a particular product or showing them what it's like for them to step into your store or sharing your story behind why you actually started your small business. There are so many budget-friendly strategies that you can be utilizing to promote your business these days that budget really shouldn't even be a concern. I mean, yeah, we would all love to have more money to spend to be able to run Facebook ads or maybe put a billboard out there, but if you don't have the budget to do that right now, there are so many other opportunities that you can jump on. You can be a guest on somebody's podcast and help promote your business or brand. You can hop on somebody's IG live or for relatively nothing, you can consistently send out emails to help stay current and top of mind with customers that have already bought from you. Speaking of budget friendly, if you're a small business owner that is going the do-it-yourself marketing route, but you still want some of that professional marketing support, consider joining our SOB, Small Loan Business Community. We just launched it, and for $50 a month, you get access to quick and dirty tutorials on various marketing topics. You get to network with other small business owners and every week we hop on a community Zoom call where you get access to both Chelsea and I for a full hour so that you could bring any topic or question you have in regards to your marketing. So instead of dumping thousands of dollars into outsourcing your marketing, go ahead and consider $50 a month joining our group and that way you get consistent marketing support that you need. We hope to see you there. Another myth is that you have to be a marketing expert to succeed. Y'all, we live in the age of the internet, meaning that you can learn practically anything these days. And here's the kicker. The thing is, even if you were to hire a marketing agency, if those marketing professionals do not keep up with trends or if they aren't brushing up on new strategies or even consumer behavior in 2024, that's not going to help you any. Take, for example, the fact that I graduated with a marketing degree back in 2005. If I did not make it a priority to keep up with marketing as it's progressed over the last 20 something years, then what I learned in college would do me absolutely no good. I wouldn't be able to apply it to what currently works in 2024. So my point is that you as a small business owner can keep up with your own marketing as long as you are also keeping up with the trends and with consumer behavior and that you're pivoting year to year as that changes. Think about it. If you had a business 15 years ago, you weren't on social media. You probably weren't on Instagram. And so as that has progressed, as more and more people have joined Instagram and it's become a bigger opportunity for small businesses, then you've considered, hey, maybe I should get on Instagram to promote my small business as well. So as long as we are brushing up, using tools and information that helps keep us updated with what is truly going on and working for small business growth, then you too can stay on top of marketing just like these agencies do especially if you join our SOB community because we're doing all of the research and basically feeding it to you. You only know what you know. And so ensuring that you're getting the right information from a good solid source is really important. And having the right guidance is gonna help you to avoid costly mistakes. Do-it-yourself marketing is too risky. Is it though? Because the risky thing is just not doing any marketing at all. Do-it-yourself marketing actually means that you are attentive to how you are growing your small business and you are in control of all of your marketing initiatives. The truth is that when you add another layer, like a marketing agency, you're adding a little more, I don't want to call it red tape, but it just adds another layer of having to get approvals or get people on board in order to push something out. When you are controlling your marketing on your own, it means that you can experiment as you want. It means that you can pivot much quicker. And it means that if something isn't working for you, that you can stop 
doing it rather quickly. You're not bound to agency contracts, and you're also not forced to take into consideration somebody else's perspective of what your business is or does. The truth is I've worked alongside agencies before for very specific projects. I was a little underwhelmed with what they put in front of us. Your marketing has to accurately reflect your small business. And if you work with an agency that just doesn't understand your industry, or maybe they're just not the right fit personality wise, then it's gonna be hard for them to do that for you. When you're in control, the possibilities are endless. And keeping your marketing in-house is not just about reducing risk, but it's about empowering yourself so that you can build a much deeper connection with your potential customers. So there you have it. You are more than capable of keeping your marketing in-house and successfully growing your small business. And hey, if you want a little help along the way, please consider joining our SOB, Small Owned Business Community, where for $50 a month, we're there to answer your questions and you can lean on us for all things marketing related. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll catch you guys next week, same time and place.